Sonic Boom! Talk about a throne of PS4 games. <laughs> we have quite a lot of stacks. So yeah. um, without further ado, this is mine and Simon's entire PS4 collection. Minus downloadables. <laughs> it's just physical there's, edition. There's a lot, so grab yourself a drink. Grab some popcorn. Get ready. Let's go. So we're gonna start things off. We've got like kind of some kind of order to it. We're yeah. gonna start off with our Final Fantasy games and duplets of Final Fantasy. I guess actually We'll tell you what all we're doing in, in case they want to skip to a certain point. Yep, yep. So we're going to do Final Fantasy <laughs> to the games end. first. <laughs> yeah, just do, or just don't watch it. <laughs> Final Fantasy games, then we're going to do fighting games. Yeah. Then RPGs. Yes. Oh, no, sorry. So I'm, I'm wrong, actually. Final Fantasy games, fighting games, duplicates, so games that, that we both have. Yes. Then RPGs, and then just the rest. Yes. So, let's jump straight in, without further ado, to Final Fantasy. And a Final Fantasy fighting game. Yes, and also one that is duplicated, so. Yeah. Cydia and if you want to hear us talk about a bit more about this, go and watch our game and pick up to number 10. Yeah, where we picked it up. Yeah. So. Uh, obviously, we won't spend too long on each game, otherwise this video will be hours long. We'll just say a tiny bit about each one. Um, pretty much it's the game that we wish for. Yes. It genuinely is. It's a fighting game with the characters that we love. So That's many amazing. characters. So yeah. Music great. looks insanely good. Looks really good. I'd give it like a solid like kind of 8 out of 10. Easily 8. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. and that's that one. Right, shall we do another? Yeah, you, you went to take your pick of the duplicate. We'll do you know, this one. Yeah. So, so we have the same game, but like different versions. Yeah. Of I mean, to be fair, actually, if you like Final Fantasy, who doesn't actually have this game? Yeah. yeah. Final Fantasy 15. Yes. Um, we obviously all waited it, waited for it for absolutely years. Yes. It came out. Um, and, it, and, it, and it was great. We, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Didn't we both like amass like 150 hours in that space of like two weeks? Wasn't it like a week and, and a half? Week and a half. Yeah. And we both played the games. So, like, and we, gave, we, 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 we both got the platinum. Yes. So the, we, the platinum map there now is like fifty percent of trophies. Um, but I do believe, as of yesterday, Royal, Royal Edition. Edition. Yeah. So, um, yeah. We get through it all, all, all again. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. What a great game. Right now, Polly, another uh, duplicate. Uh, Polly, the best looking um, like metal case I've ever seen, actually, <laughs> and that is. Final Fantasy Type Zero, yeah, which came with the demo for Final Fantasy XV. Oh yeah, it's one of the big reasons to play it. But the and both of us actually got a weird edition on this one. Yeah, I got this frame edition from Amazon. I think it's like only available I, on Amazon. I really, really like that. Where you could take out these and put in um, different pictures. Um, and then I got like the limited edition that came with yes. like um, Ace cards. And I admit that is the one of my favourite editions. I still love that edition. The box for it is so good. It's so good. Right, now we're getting on to Aiden's unique Final Fantasy games. Yes, so you do have this game, but you have it on PS Vita. I do have it on PS Vita. This... It's a ridiculous game to have on Vita, yes. by, uh, by the way. This game is literally, like, would have been like my childhood dream. But even then, I think I got this, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. Oh my god. So, oh yeah, actually, yeah, yeah true. so good. Yeah. And that is World of Final Fantasy. Like, Final Fantasy in a chibi style. If you love Pokemon, Pokemon and if you love Final Fantasy, why why, had, why, yes. why are you not playing this game? I literally wanted to grind and use every single monster available. And yes, um, Tama, I think it was Tama, the cat is like a bit annoying and it's very childish. Yeah. But gameplay is ridiculous. Woo, so that good. game. And now for a game that we're oh, we'll actually a bit. playing right now. <laughs> Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. We'll give you a bit of background. Yeah. We know we have played the original. No, no, no. Um, so yeah. at all, I didn't even know what the main character was called until until yeah. recently. And yeah. I only knew what the main. I didn't know anything else about it. I knew. No. I knew about Van. That was the it. Now they did some improvements on this game. They <laughs> did. Now one of the ones that made it so fun. Yeah. So fun is not only can you do twice speed, you can do four times as fast, yeah. and then you, the animation speed of, of the, the fights. Of the fights. Grinding has never been so fun. Well, it's just, it's like you, like you feel the instant gratification. It really is like someone's like pumping crack into your, into your blood. If you through. played the game, okay, means I went into Lusu Mines. We've been playing the game at a North speed. We went into Lusu Mines on, I believe, level thirteen. 
We came out like an hour late on level 22. Yeah, it was so much fun. So much fun. So, much fun. Um, so yeah, if you haven't delved into this yet, and you're a big Final Fantasy fan, I would definitely. I think especially the minute, I think it's about 20 pounds, 25 pounds, I think somewhere ar yep. around there, which for that is a really good price. You're thinking of game, so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> and another classic uh, remake is Final Fantasy 10 and 10 to So another you know game games. I have on PS Vita? Yes, I have it on the PS3, but that's yes. just download only. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ten is a ridiculously yeah. good game. I mean, the fact, I mean, and also the fact that the remaster is also really, really good as well. I think between Final Fantasy ten and Final Fantasy twelve, I think the story so far, so we're not completely twelve. Yeah. The story in Final Fantasy ten is what separates it, but the speed of the fights in Final Fantasy twelve. Well, I think just that that whole battle system I prefer in twelve as well. But that that's because, you know, in our modern age, that system in twelve make it's more reminiscent of modern games than yes. ten. Yeah. And then a game, well, at least. Favorite Final Fantasy on the system because uh, we played it for like ten minutes. As I was saying to Aiden, this is this is a lifestyle choice. This isn't a game. <laughs> yes. And that is Final yes. Fantasy XIV: A Realm Reborn. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a great game. We're not saying that. I'm not yes. saying the game is ridiculously good, but you really do need to not have anything else to play. Yeah. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So guys, that was all our Final Fantasy games for the PS4. Now it is time for fighting. I was going to say, I do believe, oh. until, apart from Royal Edition, I do believe that is every Final Fantasy game on the system. Especially when it's been released in the UK. I think physical ones, yeah, because we both have 7 as a download. Yes. Um, we don't, neither of us have 9 as a download. Yeah, I do think physical versions. I do think we have every physical version. Yeah. 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 If the, if you know what, we might even have all the specials and novels. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's like Pokemon card. I've got the rare. I've got the shiny. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 you know of another Final Fantasy game that we've not got physically? That was released here. Let's just know. Yeah, yeah. I'd be interested to know because I'm probably what's left. I do have a Final Fantasy spin-off game that I'm wanting to get with that is released in Japan. Yes, so. yeah, yeah. Right, fighting games. Right, so should we start off with duplicate fighting games? Yes. Street Fighter Five. We don't really need to say much about yeah, this version. Yeah, the release day version. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you know, you all know it by yeah. now. We 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 had talk about it. Now. You can talk about this one a bit more than me. And that is okay. Tekken Seven. Because you were a Tekken child being. What should I say about this game? This game actually, I always feel really bad whenever I think about this game because I feel like I didn't play it enough. Because this game is actually fun. It's, there's a lot of content. The graphics are incredible. There's lots of characters. The story mode was good. And yet I'm not playing it. I'm not sure what that says. I'm not sure what that says, but um, really good. It's I mean, really, really if good. you compare Tekken 7 as a release game to Street Fighter 5 as a release game. Tekken 7 is like miles and miles ahead. Yeah. yeah. But if you compare Tekken 7, if you've got a 5, to this as a release game. And yeah. this, out of all three franchises, was the one I was least bothered about. And but yeah. actually, this is the one we played for the most. Probably. Of my Street Fighter 5 overall. Overall, yes. Yeah, yeah. By the time of actual release, yes. Mortal Kombat X, I mean, okay, graphically, the Very game. Very good. Powerhouse. Re yeah, ridiculously good. Easy to learn? Yep. Yeah. Uh, like the crypt was incredible, the story yes. was really good. Combat was fun. It was the amount of stuff there was to do in the game. Yeah. The only thing that spoils it, but this is the same with most Netherrealm games, is when you go online, people find the cheap stuff so easy. Yes. And all, you, and all you find online is you, you're like, okay, I got beaten by that tactic again and again and again, and you're not quite sure how to beat yeah. it. Uh, yeah. But apart from that, the game for content, ridiculous. Remember, remember the towers? There was literally stuff to do every single day on it. Really, really good. I, I definitely think if you've never played Mortal Kombat X before and you can get Mortal Kombat XL for like 15 quid or less, yeah. that would be a bargain. That really would be. Because you don't need, you don't actually need to play it online. There are plenty of options offline. Right, right. I think go for, I think go for that one. Right, so Street Fighter V Arcade Edition is the Street Fighter V we should have got in the beginning. Yeah. Maybe not with all the characters, like because if you had 30 characters from the start, that would be a bit overwhelming. Yeah, because actually I don't think any Street Fighter game was released with uh, 30 characters. No. Um, but um, they've overhauled it with two V-triggers, yeah. arcade mode, finally. It's, and it's also it is, it's actually a good arcade mode. There's, yeah. there's unlockables, there's actually things to do on it. There's actually things now to do on this game. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you can pick it up for a decent price, I think I got this for 16 quid from game. Which actually, as we found out, was very, very... And also, this was sealed, it wasn't second hand or anything, this, this this was new. But I have started to think that, I think people have caught on to the fact that actually this is going to be... Because a lot of people have like been disheartened by the franchise, so yes. they've not bought it, so now no. that copies seem quite rare. Because yeah. I went into the game the other week, 
and this has gone back 25 quid. I think that's, I think that's, I think that's meant to be a standard price. I don't know how you got it for 16. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and also at the minute, I actually am enjoying it. Yes. It actually is decent now. Blanca. Yeah, we have a blanket's fun. Right, I think let's do this one first. So, a game Aiden got me, and that is Guilty Gear Exart Revelator. Well, you like fighting games. Yes. You like PS4 games. Yes. You like anime. Yes. And you like rock music. It's everything I like. <laughs> and so, also, similar to Mortal Kombat X and uh, Tekken, there's lots to do. Oh, I love the fact that you showed me the online lobbies. The online lobbies, they're sick. There's stuff to do in online lobbies. The online lobbies is a little <laughs> game in itself. Yeah, like a little chibi kind of yeah. game. Yeah. I mean, the story mode is sick. The trials in this game, there are plenty of trials, plenty of missions. The characters are awesome. The art style is incredible. I remember just spending an evening just playing trials and having so much fun. So, it's, it's so good. So, so good. And now we get on to an import game. Yeah, so... Something that I definitely think is probably unique to my collection, not many people would, would have it. And it was an arcade fighting game that we played in Japan. Yeah. And it has characters from Shining Force in it yes. and the Shining series. And that is Blade Arcus. So you're thinking, what the fuck is that? that it's what I just said. And I have to be honest, it's actually one of the funnest fighting games I've ever played. Yes. It's so, it basically, all you want is just like, it's not a serious fighting game, it's just for fun. This is definitely up there as one of the definites yeah. to play. And I think it's pretty, as imports go, it's pretty affordable. And if you don't know PS4 games, I mean, I'm sure you do, you can play all import games. Yeah. You don't need anything special. It's just obviously, it. There's obviously a language barrier. But with fighting games, not so much. No. Um, so, yeah, so if you're a Shining Force fan or a fighting game fan, or like anime, or Japanese, what do you call it, waifus. <laughs> <laughs> We're down with the key. It's... Right, shall we go on to duplicators? <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> Let's start off with our yeah. worst game, shall we? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going like, right. So, here, well, here are like, duplicates. Yeah, and obviously, we'll obviously go through these as. as no, it's pretty fun. Right, we'll, we'll, this one will be a quick one. Destiny, you all know it, bye. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, going from Destiny to an amazing game. And I just want to make. <laughs> you probably guys saw that. You probably, oh. I just want to make the point clear that. If for some reason you've watched my PS4 game collection video recently, I much doubt it. Um, but at the time, I was kind of slating this game and I just kind of bought it and I was in the yeah. frame of being salty. And I didn't understand the game. I think it's a stage everyone's been at with a From Software game. Which made it worse when I didn't realise there was a quick attack. <laughs> and I was using the axe. So I was using only RT. So I was using only strong attacks. Yeah. I was in a challenge room without knowing. And I think you were in the transform mode, so you were in the slower, slower, oh. slower, slower, slower attacks. Bad slower. times. And anyway, it was. Bloodborne. Yeah, I mean, in a minute or next month, this will be free on PS Plus, which with is Ratchet and Clank, not the DLC one. It's just the base game, but still. But still, this game is so much fun. The art style is insane. Like how much effort went into the backgrounds and stuff. The bosses are really cool. Yes, I do think this is this is still one of the best games on. The on more PS4. you put into this, the more you get out of it. A absolutely. Like I say, if you go back and watch. The video I did at the time, I kind of like say, oh, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. It That's is, actually it complete. It. I mean, I wouldn't give anything a 10, because that means literally the game is perfect and there's nothing wrong. I mean, like when you're fighting Bloodstar V, like, like the frame rate goes down to like 10. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not perfect, it's a 9.5. Yeah. I do think that, it's that good. And PS4 exclusive, Bloodborne, I mean, put this way, if like Bloodborne 2 came out, oh, it'd be an instant buy. It would be an instant 100%. buy. 100%. Yeah. What a ridiculous game. Right, let's move on to one of the best RPGs of last year. Uh, I'm going to say one of the best RPGs of all time. Do you know, the, it's one of these games that, uh, I will tell you what it is first, Persona 5. Persona 5. Obviously, it's a while since I actually played this, but the more I remember the story, the graphics, the combat system, the more, the more I actually realised this game was a very, very, very good game. It says on the back of it, we're here to take a heart. Yeah. They fucking took that. They definitely did. Because this game... The were awesome. I, you know, if I was recommending any RPG to someone on the PS4, yeah. this would be a high recommendation. Maybe yeah. I think I would even recommend this for Final Fantasy XV. Yes, yeah, I think, I, think I, I think I would, yeah. Yeah, this game is so good. I mean, I think what helped was that we both recently played Persona 4 Golden before oh, this. And you gave me the PS, uh, the PS TV. So you could play it full screen. Vita on full screen, good god. Yeah, so it, it just is such a good game. It yeah. really is. And yeah, I, 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 this is like a solid nine. I think is yeah. And if you ask most people, 
best RPGs of all time. I bet this would come in the top 10 for a lot of people. Yeah, it is, it is really good. Right, now on to, I think it's our only racing game. It is. It is our only racing On the PS4, wow. yeah. Yes. And it is a ridiculous racing game. Well, but yeah, I put it this way, because racing games, you know, got Mario Kart. I mean, we do play that a lot. And F-Zero. Yes. I um, mean, you know, but apart from that, we don't really have many. No. We do, we do have some. It's a genre that we're not the biggest fans of. Well, you told me about this game. But. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> yeah. told me about this game when you played the, the original. Yes, yeah. And then you brought the remastered version, which is Wipeout. The Omega Collection, yeah. And you brought it over, and we played in it all night. Yeah. I had to come buy it. Yes. I could not... Oh well, my god, I, well, when I, I love said, this game. Well, when I said to you on the phone, I said, oh, I just bought the Wipeout Omega Collection. I can tell Aiden wasn't, like, super. Yeah, I was like, like oh, that's cool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, And when I said, oh, no, but it's like F-Zero meets America, I can tell Aiden was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I, I think it's pretty good. I was kind of like, <laughs> I was gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, yeah. Like, ten hours later, I was like, I'm fixing this. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I... I genuinely <laughs> I love how it's got the South Park stick of truth game code in there. Um, but genuinely, if I was to, if I was to compare it, I would say it is it's F Zero meets and Mario Kart. It really is like the two of them had a little baby. Yes. And Wipeout came out. Even I think at its hardest, it's as hardcore as F Zero, and then at its lowest, it's as friendly as uh, as like a low level Mario Kart. Knowledge. It really oh, is good. I, I like the analogy there. Thank you. Right. What what we're we going with next? Yes! So you have the, the premium edition. I do. What's that even called? Uh, the, uh, the following, and it's called the enhanced edition. So it literally is, it's, it's all the DLC. Don't like, I mean, I like, I enjoyed it for what it was. It's yeah. a parkour, zombie game, survival. Open, open world. Open world, yeah. I mean, as Lots a, of crafting, but then what game doesn't have crafting? Crafting early. Yeah. I think at the time this was good, but the amount of zombie games now... It's a bit much. Bit it's much. A bit much. Um, I think pretty much out of most. This actually might have been the game that broke the camel's back. To be honest, when it came to the zombie games, to be honest. Yeah. This came out at a time when I think it was just becoming a bit passe. Yes. Um. But yeah. yeah. It's the bit actually. But saying all of that, it's graphically still good. I can't remember, say I can't remember many frame drops. I think it still runs well. The story is actually pretty decent. Yeah. The crafting's good. As we say, it's just you might get a bit bored of this kind it, of game. If, you, if you're into those kind of games and you can get that version for a decent price... I think that's like £16. Right, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, I think it is, it is actually got, decent. But when I, I got my... Luckily I got it for my birthday, so I didn't get it. Yeah. By the time you know it, you're talking like 40, 45 quid. For that version of it, not worth it. Probably not, no. Right, what are we doing next? A great RPG. <laughs> Alright, let's do... Okay, let's... This one needs a bit of explanation. Right. Again, this... Cuts me deep every time this, we talk about this game. This might be actually Aiden's most disappointing not played game, I think. Yeah. In terms of myself, I'm disappointed with myself. Yeah. This game is everything that I want from a game. And it's arguably, we need to argue for some people, this is the best RPG on the PS4. And it's for that, I only spent about five hours into it. It's yeah. nothing to do with the game. I, I think another game, a game came out. Yeah. But that game is The Witcher The Witcher 3. Three which. I actually had recently bought all the DLC actually for this as well. And yeah. I do not blame you. This game, I know it's incredible. Yeah. And I still say, I will play this yeah. one day. I mean, look at all the extras that they gave yes. you. They gave like a separate S game. Soundtrack. Like, oh yeah, this, this came with a soundtrack. soundtrack. CD Projekt Red, know how to make uh, it. A compendium, a soundtrack, there were stickers, there's a map inside, inside there as well. Um, but I mean, what can I say about this game is, rarely have I played a game and I have been so immersed into that game, into that game world. Um, Gwen was literally a game within, within a game. That's why they brought it out. It was so, so good. Um, I think this definitely rivals another classic, classic RPG that you'll be showing later. Yes. Yeah, I'm playing another RPG at the minute, and the way I'm feeling right now playing that one is exactly how I felt playing this. But what's different is there's more to do in this, which is insane. Which is insane. Wanting. Honestly, this this, this game. I'm gonna say that this is like another solid nine, nine, a nine and a half out of ten. Yes. This this is like bloodborne level for me. This is that's how good it is. Yeah. And we know some of these you may not class as RPGs, but we're going with like with quite a broad spectrum. I mean that I think that's open world RPG is like. I so just, don't want to set the world on fire. But Fallout 4, which we both actually have all the DLCs as well, and we both played all the DLC, so we yes. definitely have played this a lot. I think I've got like 150 hours in, in this game. I mean, Fallout is a classic series. Yeah. Fallout 4 introduced a lot of like crafting yeah. um, elements and um, building up your own uh, town, town and stuff. I can't think of the word yet. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about it because um, you guys already know. It, it's just like Witcher 3. You all know about yeah. it. It's an amazing, amazing game. I it, was, when, when I was really into this, for like the month I was into it, by God was I into this. It was like a minimum of four hours at a time that I was on. Yes. I couldn't play, I couldn't play, I couldn't play, I couldn't play this for half an hour. There was no way I could only be on it for half an hour. It was that addictive. Such a bubble head, killing new turns, getting new buddies, finding loot. I mean, one thing I, loot. one thing you'll find, this game finding loot is so addictive. To be fair, that's every Bethesda game. Um, yeah. But one thing that I loved, especially in this, is, which I know were some people's bugbears, was like um, finding all the different, like if you find a typewriter, you'd get steel and things oh, out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I actually really found that really addictive. I found it so cool that you could go into any room and just and you could come dismantle. out with stuff to find like a new stock for your gun, and then you'd be even better. And I, I, I mean, love Fallout 4. I mean, Fallout 4. I got a map for it. I got the guide for it. Yeah. I got a loot crate box. for oh, yeah, it. I got course, a dog yeah. for it. I've got a T-shirt for it. Yeah. Fallout. That shows some love. That is. Yeah. That shows. Some I'm love. showing some love right there. Oh my god! And, and actually, we're going on to right. Well, uh, equally, we do. We have the duplicate of the main game. Yes, but we'll do this one first, yeah. And that is Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zero. The prologue to Metal Gear Solid Five Phantom Pain. It's it's a tech demo. It's a tech demo. With I a mean, big story. This game, 10 or less, and it's fine. Oh my god, I think for 10 or less it's ridiculously good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but at the time, if you pay retail price, I mean, I know it's a Metal Gear game. Um, it's not worth it. It was never worth retail. No. And look, I didn't. I, I think when I got it, I got it for twenty-five pounds. With I got this and Tomb Raider that I'll show you. Yeah, later. which actually were both pretty good buys. And actually. they were my first games for the PS4, along with something else. Yes. Um, but yeah, so uh, here we game of Swan Song though. This game, just like Fallout Four, by God, it's another one of those that when because we actually we. This is actually one of the few games that when we were playing it, we were almost like kind of, it wasn't a competition, but we definitely were kind of like, oh, I've been oh, here, yeah, yes. and I've been here, and we're just kind have, of so aging. Have you caught this animal? Yeah. Have you done, have you done that? Like, have you taken out this out of post? Have you done Mission 30, like 34 yet? Yeah. Um, we literally were like edging along together. It was so cool to play, so addictive. The only reason you can tell that mine was with the collector's edition is because mine says not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I, I do know at the time of doing the PS4 collection video that I did when I had probably about a half a game here. I felt the receipt this time. Because <laughs> you bought this after playing a bit. I, I, did. I, I did. did the prologue um, and then Simon got this on the way back. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay, I'm, I'm lay something down. I do think the prologue of this is the best prologue ever. I, I can see it. It's, it's I can see so it. It, it, What I say, well, I, I watched Aiden play it and I played it myself the same night. And that's how good it was. I think what's insane is the only prologue to rival it is also by the same series to me as Snake Eater. Yeah, yeah. And he, that, that's kind of mental. He, he knows how to grab you and say this game, ridiculously good. I think this is, this is definitely the game I would say which allows you to play in the most different ways. Yeah. If, we, you, if you want to stealth, you, you can stealth. Yeah. If, you, if you want to go balls out crazy with like um, armor suits and sniper rifles and machine guns, it's, it's viable. I, mean, I think you were a good mix. Yes, I was yeah. definitely like, I, I had the stealth camera on. I was stealth all the way, and then yeah. you were like a good mix of both. But both ways are so fun and viable. That's what I loved about it. It didn't penalise you for trying to do it any any which way. Um, but yeah, at the time of doing my PS4 game video, I did say at the time that I thought this was my favourite game on PS4. And actually looking around, I really don't it's, know now, but it's, it's still there. God, it's still, it's, for, for me, it's, still, it's definitely still top three. I, I think actually it's so hard. I don't know what I'm saying. I know. I, I really don't know. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll leave there. <laughs> um, so okay. now we have another series yes. on uh, PlayStation. Tales of Zestaria. Another game that I got collected edition for. Yes. Tales of. Right. What can we say about the Tales of? What? Are, okay. Well, what we should say about the series is it is still one of our favourite series. An RPG that you can play with two people. Yes. It has like an action arcade kind of feel to it, even yes. though it's still an RPG. Um, it's incredible. The series as a whole is it's like second favorite series. Yeah, I love it so much. And like char the characters, yeah. the monsters, the replayability, the yeah. fact that you, there's so much to do. The crafting. Thing. I love it. This one though is an eight out of ten. Yeah, seven a, a and a half. A, yeah, seven and a half. A bit lackluster in parts, just yeah. like. And this is the only reason we've been so that Simon doesn't have this one. No. But I think that maybe tells yeah, you I think that maybe tells you that yeah. tells the stereo kind of set the bar for PS4 and then this was done the same engine yet again. Yeah. Very, very similar, and that is Tales of the Syria. It's another like eight out of ten. Yeah. It's, it's still great. Yeah, it's still it's still great, but to me it's not the Speria, it's no. not Symphobia. And you are and you and you feel like you are still playing the same game. 
yes. o- over again. Even though graphic, no, no, that feature graphically it, it, it is the same. Different characters. Yes. Exilia, Exilia Two tells the Styria, tells the Graces. No, yeah. Tell, yeah, and tells Viseria. As far as I know, they're all on, on the same, same engine. engine. And I think they reuse a lot of the same assets. And I think that's why. If you notice now, there's been a, quite a long break. And there's because not they are much new engine. Yeah. Um, but weird enough, I think there's meant to be three Tales of games coming out on the Switch. Which yeah, well, we'll have to see for them. Yeah. So um, right, I think we will go on to. I think it's RPGs, my boy. Oh, RPGs, fool. And oh yes, yeah, so did, did, did we just do RPGs? No, no, they were all duplicates. <laughs> Sounds right. I've lost my mind. Well, actually, we should probably have a quick pause and see what the camera's on. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> right, so one of our favourite parts of any video game collection is oh. RPGs, my boy. Obviously, we've already been through some of the duplicate RPGs like Persona 5 and Tales of. So these are RPGs that we both have differently. And we've done Final Fantasy, obviously. Yes. So, I shall start off first with Diablo 3. Prepare to lose your life. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a prepare to lose your life kind of game. Um, Again, if you like looting things, which is basically now I realise one of my favourite mechanics yes. in any game ever, like rogue style kind of different, every time you go in a dungeon, different enemies and you can get different loot. Um, I also like I like classifying my loot in different classifications. <laughs> Quantity, um, how basically. <laughs> um, it's so good. Obviously you get more like a um, isometric, so it's not top down, obviously it's not behind, it's kind of a back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Angle, look at the character, um, kind of similar to League of Legends and that kind of style, you know, you kind of can map different moves, different buttons, and obviously use those moves and hit enemies around you. It's what? just a blizzard do make grind fest, but they make hella fun grind fest. One thing I was going to say about this game, is it accessible for new players? Ab- absolutely. Because all you have is six buttons. It's actually just do. So square is just like your normal attack. Yeah, yeah. So that's like the same pretty much for every character, or every kind of character. And then and most games. And most games. And then every other button, so triangle, circle, X, and then the uh, four triggers you can then assign to different moves so an a- you know like an aoe move or what was uh, that or like a long range move so it really it's a it's nice and simple but incredible yeah right a remake of a ps2 game yes and then i got it seems like i got a collector's edition for everything yeah it does, another yeah. one that i got a collector's edition for and that is odin sphere life is it yeah no i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i say um like hand draw pixel art side scroll side scrolling action. Platinum this shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, when you... Oh, it's another one. I'm not talking about this. Platinum, Street Fighter Five, and Bloodborne. Oh, yeah, Street Fighter Five is a very, very impressive yeah. one. Uh, um, yeah. Um, another one of those games that when Aiden was playing it, I could, you, like, you couldn't make him stop. No, no. <laughs> like, it was very, very, very addictive, I mean, wasn't it? I mean, all I remember from this game is Oswald. But it's the kind of game It gave you a lot of fun, didn't it? It gave me so much fun, and this, yeah. this would be, like, if someone said, oh... Like I'm, I'm kind of fancying a new kind of RPG, you know, like a, like, a different style, a different style of RPG. Mm. Up there, yeah. Short and sweet. Great story. Great story. Great art. What more do you want? Good music. Yeah. All right, I'll do my next one actually, because uh, I've actually got basically the same game twice. Uh, yes. And that is Elder Scrolls Online. That the, obviously the base game, even though that was the Crown Edition, which basically gave you, I think. Like, 500, no, 750 crowns free, which is like the in-game currency. But basically, one thing I'm, I'm realising here, and you will realise, is most of Simon's RPG collection, you could lose your life on. And this game... Well, I, I already have them. Is only, <laughs> is only second, I think, to, to one of the game in your collection. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah actually, yeah. Um, yeah, I think verging on 300, I think. But 300, 300 hours. hours. And I didn't even play uh, the online section. Well, actually, it's all online, but I mean, like, the... Um, I can't remember. I think Cyrodiil is the name of the map where you do, like... Um, yeah, yeah, I know you. P- uh, PvP, basically. I never even did that. No. I did do Team Dungeons, um, but that, to me, just felt like playing the base game a- anyway, doing, like, Team Dungeons. All I can say is, thank God I didn't have this game at the same time. Because yeah. we would have become... Cartman and Friends in World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> I was shitting in bedpans and everything. You know, um, so. But I mean, similar to another game that I will be showing you next, I just I find it so addictive just finding new places on a map, seeing what's in those places, getting new loot in those places, and then becoming gradually better. And Everyone knows that feeling of just kind of slowly making yourself better in a game and feeling godlike. Yes. All I want to do is feel godlike. Like. And these games facilitate that, that <laughs> feeling. Facilitate that need. Yeah, the need. And these are Grand Fest games. Ooh, and also, yes. they are from a series that I adore. Yeah. I love everything about the series, and then the spin-off 
which is perfect. Yeah. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2. two. Um, so if you don't know, if you haven't played Hyrule Warriors, yes. it's or the any, same. Any, um, Kirby Tecmo. Yeah, I can't think what that's your... Like, Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty, yeah, Dynasty Warriors kind of game. Obviously, there's loads of those kinds of games. So open map, you basically yeah. just um, go around killing tons and tons of monsters, levelling up, getting new equipment, yeah. getting more, more and more people. Um, I love Terry, the guy from Dragon, oh, Dragon yeah, Warrior yeah. Monsters. Yeah. And his like, special move was Circle. I can't remember what, what they were called. Yeah, they oh, like, oh, like, oh. He could, uh, he could make himself into more cool Falcon Slash. I can't remember. Like... But he could, the terror was sick. Um, the guy I remember in two is the <laughs> fat merchant. <laughs> Tornico. And his, oh nice, and his circle move where he basically would just do like a dash. He'd just yes. run. He'd just run. I love how you could do, do, do a run and then just get your gatling on <laughs> archery. <laughs> Yeah, this game is so fun. I say, if you enjoy not not mashing games, that's a bit unfair. If, if you enjoy just killing lots of things and getting instant gratification of killing loads of things, I think look no further. I think we've got plays later because I've still not completed this one. Yeah, and because it, and you know why? It's another one of those games that when you start, you really have to be committed. Yes, it's not you can't like you can't just dip your toes in and have like a little go around like playing FIFA. If you buy one of these games, you have to be prepared to only play this game. Platinum. Hell yeah. Right, still on that Bethesda for me. Oh, what a game! And I, I'll, play this. I'll show you the inside. It's empty. It's in my PS4 right now. You've been, you've been playing this game some more. Yes, I've been playing this game a lot. What? Okay. You all know about Skyrim. Yeah. To be honest, so far, genuinely, this might be the most famous game that yes. we've actually shown. You know, who doesn't own a copy of Skyrim? One of um, our friends. It's his favorite game. Like, yeah. Of all time. Um, you know, I had it on 360, of course, because everyone had it on 360. I had it on 360. Yeah. The you, only thing was, oh, no. and the reason why I bought this version is because when I was playing it on 360, everyone would have hated me for the way I played it. I literally cheesed out every boss, did none of the side quests. Yeah, I literally was the worst hurt. human being whilst I was playing <laughs> this. Um, I literally just did the main story, which is why when I obviously when this version came out, I thought to myself, right, you've actually. After playing ESO, you've got to play this game, and Fallout, you've got to play this game and do it properly. Oh, and what I is even it. better about this version? Because the one oh, thing, oh. the one thing that let this game down on, on 360, 360 and PS3, of course, as well. Yeah. You know, and it's not no because well, the the game did need to come out at that time. Yeah, and it was right. But the loads, the loads, fuck me. Loads. And Sam told me the other day that this version literally doesn't need to load. Yeah, and, and I was like, well, oh, I, I think I think it loads 12 gig of itself into like your hard drive. So it's, it, all the information is instantly it, there. It would scare me to have a game on PS4. Yeah. I mean, it, it helps. I like, know I'll play it too much. It helps I do have the PS Pro. It's like the, the, uh, the uh, PS4 yes, Pro. Yes, you do, boy. I do. Yes, you do. I do. <laughs> you were talking about that, yeah. yeah I was talking about the Pro. I was got the Pro, which obviously helped with loads of times. He upgraded before me. What, what's going on? <laughs> that never happened. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, so obviously you all know that when you go to a loading screen, you'll get the, um, an eye, you know, a picture of a sword or a dragon or whatever. You just around. This game doesn't even require that. All you get is a little circle in the corner that spins. It takes about two seconds, and you've loaded in. Um, as I say, you're on the Skyrim. Still ridiculous. Still so. Go, we've got some classic games. Yeah. But another game some people may have heard of. Yes. Not have done. Um, by Which NS. also, I should tell you right now, is on PS Plus right now. And I did get some PS Plus right, uh, right, uh, right Ooh. now. It is so good. I haven't played it yet, but obviously I've watched Aiden play. By NIS America. Yeah. Grinding. Heaven, yes. Also, strategy RPG yes, was a bit different. Probably the most strategic one, really. Imagine, I said, it, it is Grand Kingdom. Grand Kingdom. Imagine Fire Emblem on a 2D plane. Yes, is how I kind Fire of Fire Emblem it. on rails. Yeah, yeah. With, it's like, different classes and stuff. It could become quite repetitive, but... Yes. The strategy of each fight is so interesting. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, the way they've made the moves that can go, over enemies or over your own friendlies and your own friendlies can get hit by your own moves it, it really does make you think and about every little thing that, that, uh, that you do. I just realised I love how in Odin's Fair Life was there there's the the yeah. 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 Um, and then the thing of oh do I level this person to become, so once you reach level 20 do I bring them back around and increase the stats yes um, I think there's someone that I level up six times over yeah um, also like buying or like going to the shop and seeing that a new kind of Troop it is is in there, but yeah. then but then that troop takes up more spaces on, on your board. And you're like, well, I say sending things out to war. Yeah, is that, like the whole online thing playing against other people's AIs of their characters that they have created. I do think that game. Now this is an underrated game. I say if you got PS Plus, I would highly recommend because right now 
do you know, believe it or not, this is such a big advertiser, is like, you, like, like they'll advertise like the game in order of like popularity, this one's last. So you got Rhyme, which I did get, R-I-M-E, there was that, there was, I think, something else, and then this was like last. I would, I would, honestly, this game's incredible. I think it's a hidden gem, I cannot Absolute hidden gem. recommend this enough. This will be really? a game in years to come that will be a hidden gem and people will be looking for. Um, yeah. Uh, 9 out of 10. Yeah, it is. It, 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 it is that good. Right. Now on to another oh. well-known game. <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> it's such a, a Jesus. good game. Yeah. I envy Simon whenever I see this. Dragon's Dogma Dark. I've got on 360. Yeah. Now, it's PS4 Pro enhanced again, which obviously will mean low times and obviously frame rates are going to be stable. Um, what a good game. Now, years ago... Do you ago, want to play Witcher and Skyrim with something a bit different? Yeah, basically, if you want to play... The best bit of every open world RPG. That's what we said at the time, wasn't it? Play this. Yeah. If you like the best bits of everything, this game is ridiculous. It is so so good. Capcom do know how to make a game. They do. Yeah. Now and again. Yeah. <laughs> um, but this was one of them. Got <laughs> them. Yeah. So yeah. Ridiculous game, and I would. Honestly, I'd like people to get this. I think Aiden probably will at some point in the future. I, I, I definitely will. Now, pretty much every RPG we've mentioned so far has been incredible yeah. to amazing or beyond. Yeah. This game is shit. And it, is. it really, really hurts yeah. me the fact that, you yet again, I bought PlayStation for this as well. Yeah. Um, just because I just can't, I wanted to give it a chance. And also, I think, yeah, it's because the trailers for it and all the stuff for it made it look, made it look really, really good. I mean, what um, one thing I'm glad about is people can't read it and know what it is. <laughs> yeah, true. Star Ocean 5. Yeah. Integrity and faith, hopelessness. There's no integrity in this game. No. What is going on with this game? It's oh. Very, it's very bland, isn't it? I don't want to hear people say that other, other games look poor. No. No. This game looked poor. Yeah. The graphics look poor. The combat didn't make sense. I mean, you literally didn't do anything. It felt like a Tales of, but sim really, really simple. Really, really, really simplified simple. down. But then the... I mean, I don't know. yeah, we'll leave that one there. That yeah. one. That I know it does have a cult following, and, I, and like you know, all I want to say is I did try to get into it. It's not the only. Yeah. It's not. Oh, the no, at least I think at least like a ten hours. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is the minimum needed to really know if you like a game or not. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't good. A game Aiden got me very recently <laughs> for yes. Christmas. Yeah, um, Kingdom Hearts one point five and, and two point five. Six games. Six games on. One disc, uh, and also not just six games, like six of the best games of all time. This game is mental. Yes, I absolutely love this game. The art style, the characters. I, th I literally needn't say it anymore. I think we spoke about it before, but I think I was the one who kind of first got into Kingdom Hearts. But even myself, I was a bit reluctant. I was like, Disney, Disney. yeah, is it going to like, be cheesy and yeah, corny? Yeah, is it going to be cheesy? Is it going to be cheesy and corny? Some of the characters are, and some of the storylines are a bit like, oh, there's a bit. Like in the middle, like on, I've, 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 I've only really, really played one so far. Yeah. Like the Winnie the Pooh sections. I know. I mean, they're cool, but but it's like not it's not the coolest thing in the world. But challenge! Oh my God, these. Are... <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Coliseum. Yeah. Um, the uh, the like the organization thirteen. Yeah. Because okay. um, at the minute and one, I've only got to the point where um, you've been back from Maleficent. I think you've just. Kill Maleficent. Uh, you find out Riku um, was like he was controlled by the uh, Heartless. Yeah, yeah. And you find like the Heartless Riku version. Uh, this, and then you get, and then you do get turned into a Heartless, and they get turned back. And after that, I'm just saying that. Yeah. I mean, after Metal Gear Solid, literally the hardest, most complex storyline to understand. Then, I mean, that how crazy is that? Yeah, it really is. Um, but don't let the fact that it's Disney and a bit childish put you off if you're an RPG fan. Yeah. Imagine, well, obviously, because it has five hundred characters in, you are playing a Final Fantasy game. Mixed with, I'm trying to think about a more action RPG. Maybe Tales of, that, that kind of action RPG, third person camera kind of yeah. hitting and slashing. Um, incredible. One incredible. of my happiest gaming moments goes to Kingdom Hearts 2. And so I got it for Christmas on the PS3. And it was like the week after Christmas. Yeah. It was snowing outside. And then the. It's the perfect snow. Yeah, it, it's the. Um, oh, what's his name? There's, anyway, there's a snow world. Yeah. And it literally just one of the moments I was like, snow outside, snow in the game. I was like, I was there with like hot chocolate. I was like, yeah. It's so, it so good. So happy. Another remake. Yes. This game is really good. And it's, it's very good. And it's, it's very, very strategic. Good. I don't know why it didn't 
grip me as much as it should have done because the first level was hard. And that's, that, and that, so, and that's not that saying so bad. And that's not saying that we gave up because it was hard. But yeah, because I played Bloodborne. But and, and obviously you played Final Fantasy games. Uh, sorry, uh, Fire Emblem games, and some of them are very hard. And it's Valkyria Chronicles. It's Valkyria Chronicles with with an art book again. Um, Fifteen quid this was. But the first level was a difficulty point that I think just put you off. Yeah, I, th- I, I think it did. But it's because I kind of was like, it's difficult, but I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But for, I think the problem is, is this is designed for people who find Fire Emblem a bit too easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Especially recent Fire Emblem. Yeah, a great game though. It, it really is. It's just I think that that was more our issue than the game's I, issue. I think before we go into Simon's one, I'll, I'll just finish up. Yeah, because I'll, I'll finish up because the next yeah. one is. Just well, then I'll do. I'll, I'll I'll do this one next. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this one, this this game, I'll, I'll tell you this first. It is Neo. I would find it very hard to not put this in my top three, but I think it would just miss out. Very, very unfortunately, because. By Lord, do I love this game. I don't think I could do a top three, but yeah, anyway. Yeah. Neo, I remember, um, I watched you on this the first night you got it. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, a, it's like a, a medieval castle. Yeah. Loot. By Lord, loot. As you know by now, I love games where you can loot. Yes. This basically was like, oh, do you like Dark Souls? Uh, yeah, I, I like Dark Souls. It's kind of similar-ish. But you get to fucking loot everything, and again, there's a classification system. If by now you know I love classifying things into colours, I am basically a four-year-old, gold is good, and then like normal shit, and that's what I love. Um, so yeah, Neo. <laughs> Neo is great. Also, the, I, th- I think what people dis about this a lot was, oh, it's not open world, it's not like Dark Souls 1 where all the areas are, are, are interconnected. But I, I love about I've... this, with the mission system yes. meant I could dip my toes in and not feel like, oh, okay, I'm stuck, I'm stuck in Blight Town. Okay, I have to play another two hours until I can get out somewhere safe. And this, I was like, okay, I can just, I'll use a, I'll use a, a, a Himalgi branch and I'll just teleport back to the uh, main menu. Fucking love this game. I think what's really funny I love this is game. literally every game you show me on your G, G section, at some point I'm going to buy. Yeah. I mean, I think they do actually have a, obviously I've got the DLC for this as well. I bought the, the, uh, the, the DLC. The DLC is also nice. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so it is so good. Really, really good. I say it's. I find this. I find this. It would hurt me not put it in my top three, but I think it would unfortunately just get nudged out. This is going to really, really upset me because I got this game for Christmas, and this is the game that I was most looking forward to for Christmas. And for one reason or another, I have not played it yet. <laughs> and it's Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Yeah. I need to play this game. I need yeah. to see the new engine and how Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to look like. Yeah. Um, and it comes with the remake, of, so remastered version of Kingdom Hearts Dream Dog Distance, which were released on 3DS. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, like. Um, Basically, like the ground zeros of Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to play this so bad, and I will, so I can't comment on it, but, but I'm th- sure. But I think what Aiden's trying to do is he's trying to make sure that when he starts it, he doesn't just suddenly. Like, he, he, like, he has to drop it. Yes. It's that fear of not being able to play it once you start uh, it. We've only got rounds playing Final Fantasy XII, I think I got uh, like yeah. mid last year. Uh, yeah, and somehow that gripped us. I mean, that, that could have easily kind of like not uh, gripped us, but so, I'm sure this game is ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. All right, now onto a game that everyone loves to hate. Uh, Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Before you say anything else, what yeah. would you give out of 10? 8. May- maybe a 7.5. Maybe it's not... It's not great, but by lord is it not bad. It's still really, really good. It still has that Dark Souls ad- ad- addictiveness. Yes. Um, if yeah. you compare it to other games, it would be a great game. Okay, but Obviously, you compare yeah. it to Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3. Yeah, and, and, and Bloodborne as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just good. It's just really good. It's, I think it's as simple as that. I don't, nothing more I can really say no, to no. be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> South Park, the fractured butthole. Uh, more like, if you've played South Park, than the truth. I mean, it literally just runs like a South Park episode. It does. It's like one long movie. Yeah. Vulgar RPG. Yep. Hilarious. Easy to pick up and play. Some of the best story in an RPG. Yeah, just. If you're a South Park fan and you like RPGs, you get it. Simple, it is honestly simple as that. I, yeah. I have the Grand Wizard and... Yep. Coon. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right, now on to, um, by hours, my most played game on my PS4. Is this your favourite PS4? Is this your favourite game? 
I think this is. I think this game would definitely come into your top three games. But I think. I think it's definitely top three on PS4. Yeah. It's. I'd say it's one or two. It's definitely one. It's definitely one or two. And that is Dark Souls three. How many times? Have yeah. Have you completed this game? I think it's like sixteen or seventeen. And, Whoa! And I think half of those are without DLC, and half of them are with. Um, yeah. So is the game you completed the most times of any other game? I think I, I feel like Pokemon. It's hard to know because it's hard to know how I've played Pokemon. It was just, like, quite a long time ago. Did you catch them all? That's all I need to know. Oh, I want to know. Did you catch them all? <laughs> Definitely, the game that I completed the most times is this or Pokemon. Yeah. I do think this might have overtaken it though. I, I went through this game an inordinate amount of times. Well, I played every single class of oh, like starting classes. Tried so many weapons, leveled up so many weapons. It is just so much fun. And it's one of these games that the more you know, the better it becomes. Like, you're like, oh, okay, so that's how I beat this boss. I just stand here and I space him this way, or, you know, this is how I do this, and I don't stand there and I stand here. And then when you learn these things, you're like, okay, I'm a fucking god. Yes. Um, and as you know, as you can get so far, the more a game makes make, make it feel good, the more I want to play it. And that's what this game does. And another from software game, but, but as you said, it's the more you put into it, the yeah. more you get out of it. Which is why I went through it like 16 times. Oh, and I think it's like 300 and something hours. Yeah, I think all in all. I mean, this makes it sound bad after what Simon said, but this is still me saying it's a long game. Yeah. I completed it twice. Yeah. Yeah, no, and, I, and I and I loved it. Yeah, Infuriate in Mid Times. That's what you oh, love. Yeah. It's yeah. the persevering and overcoming the demon. Exactly. Or the fucking nameless king. Okay. Nameless king. I am with him. I think we should point at the battery again. It's a long video. All right. Now we're gonna get the games that I bought. Aiden. Yes. So we have a uh, have a set. Yeah, I don't think there are. There's none in there, is there? I don't think. I don't think so. I think yeah. I found them all. But yeah, yeah we've obviously bought so many games and stuff we should review. Yeah. Or different kinds of things. Yeah, I think there's some on different consoles. That means, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's start off with the most recent one that you got me. Yes. Um, Hidden Agenda. It's like a, a a TV series that you interact with, and yeah. you can do it via your phone. Um, very inclusive, isn't it? It really is that like, anyone can kind of get involved yeah. with. Yeah. Um, like we played it together. Yes. My girlfriend played it together. Yes. Uh, work, work friends. Work friends. Yeah. Um, oh, and your brother's now got it. Yeah. yeah. Playing so it it, like it, it's just it's just perfect. Yeah. It, like I didn't really didn't think I would like the concept of playing a game. Yeah. Because I don't play any games on my phone. No. We're playing a game on a, on the phone through a PS4 with other people. It's it is it is really good. Yeah. It's really good. De definitely, especially right now, because they just made it even better. I didn't pay this price, but as it is right now, it's five pounds on Amazon. Get it? I think that actually I think it's like six. Sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, oh, hold on. Yeah. Get it? Yeah, really. For that yeah, price. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best game. <laughs> so best or best indie game? Well, if you one of the best indie games. Okay, yeah. it's my favorite indie game of all time. Yeah, of all time. And it's my favourite game that like Sam's got me up on the PS4 without a doubt. Actually, arguably it was the riskiest one actually. It is well. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking. I'm looking through and um, other games like really that like, you would think like you. you I knew they were going to be good, but like, this game we didn't know what it was. No, like. no idea. Made literally by like a team of four from Spain. Yeah. Aragami. Yeah. Ninja style stealth, Akami like graphics, yeah. like cel shaded graphics. Oh my! Oh my God! This game was. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think you can see when I did. I also did like all the pickups for it, and I said then that it's my favorite game, like indie game ever. It still is. I don't really know what to say about. It. I don't know what it was, what yeah. single thing it was. Well, I think, I think, I guess because it was mission based. But I think, I think a and I do like mission based oh, yeah. games. And then missions within each chapter. Yeah, yeah. Um, so good. The story was actually good as well. Yes. I think the story was actually decent. Which I think for an indie game is usually where they slip down. It's on story, so, but yeah, by li Lynx Lynx Works. Works. Yeah, I think yeah, Lynx Works. But I think oh, okay, Spanish company. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you're into uh, ninjas and like indie games or yeah. stealth, if you're into Metal Gear, get it. Yes. Survival horror at its most scariest <laughs> and hardest. And not not you. And we didn't even play it in VR. No, no. Alien Isolation. Sega, a great game by yes. Sega, which yeah. doesn't happen very often. No, it doesn't. We still haven't completed it. 
But I think that is purely because of the challenge level was so much higher. Yeah, I think we, we literally got stuck. I think yeah. what happened, we, we actually got stuck. Yeah. Well, I do remember, similar to today actually, um, whenever we have iced coffees, like, this is the thing that we like. We did it like in Japan. We had yeah. like iced coffees when we were in the arcade. Yeah. And the other memory I have when I had it um, is it being my birthday. We'd gone out for a meal. Yeah. Um, and then we got back, and me and Simon like played this and played it like all night. Which is some iced coffees. Because I mean, the atmosphere of this game. If you want a horror game with atmosphere, you probably play like Outlast and games like that. But if you want like a mainstream horror game. Yes. This gives you atmosphere in droves. It, like you don't. This could be a bit of a spoiler, but I'll tell you anyway. I don't think you should be alien for like five hours, or like an hour, and yeah. an hour. But you're just cutting its androids. Like they're the first <laughs> enemy to be oh, with. Oh yeah, yeah. But they're win freaky. So the atmosphere it creates is just perfect. If you yeah. love the original Resident Evil games and you yes. want a less frustrating one to control, but just as challenging, Alien Isolation. And then going on from so Alien Isolation, like a <laughs> really dark. Depressing, sadistic game. It's about the opposite game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we're going into like fun and friendly yeah. and you haven't heard, probably heard of it. Abzu by the creators of Journey, I believe. I don't think it is. I think we got it's this wrong. It's not. I got it wrong. It's not by the creators of Journey. We did, I mean, and we both did until I think we searched recently. I think it is a different company, but it, you can tell by the lore that it's inspired by that similar kind of game style. Recently, um, PlayStation Access did say this is like one of their like uh, hidden gems. A, be a beautiful game on like anything else. A yeah. spectacular journey worth taking. If you yeah. want to just relax with a game and just have just good fun, there I've is almost nothing I've I have completed this game three times. Yeah. There's not much to say. It's like if you have you played Endless Ocean on the Wii, it's kinda yeah. it's kinda like that. Um, yeah, the cinematic, relaxing experience. Yeah. Well also, also graphically. Very kind of, it was very pretty, very very colourful as well. Sounds very good at getting me I I indie, like game, like Hidden Agenda, Aragami and Abzu, like all kind of indie games. Yeah. Uh, more of a mainstream game. The only game to <laughs> physically make me sick on New Year's Eve. You know, we've got some nice memories of other games. This one made made him sick. sick. <laughs> this yeah. one literally made me sick. Yeah. We, were, we were too close to the TV screen. Yeah, and I think also, I think the screen shakes a lot. You get yeah. like, a, like a vibration on, on the screen. The evil, the evil within. There was some evil within me. It yeah, it's come out. Now, created by the guy who did Resident Evil 4. Oh. Yeah, okay. The first few chapters in this game was just as good as any Resident Evil I've ever played. Yeah. And those chapters will stay with me and, and it will be the reason why I want to play Evil Within 2. But then it turned into Resident Evil 5, which isn't really a bad thing, thing but it just wasn't as good as yeah, the it, first time. It went like OTT, it was trying to do too much. Yeah. I and mean, the final chapter on this is mental. Yeah. It is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. but, but still though, if you like survival horror, I still say give that one a go. I, st I still <laughs> Right. Best of the rest. Yeah, so we're going to kind of grind through these. So I'm going to just, let's just get on with, okay. We've just been talking about, you know, Resident Evil quite a bit, actually. Look at this, guys. Resident Evil. No. Oh, yeah, let's do the Resident Evil collection, I guess. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. Aiden likes Resident Evil. I think we should probably mention that now. Yeah. yeah. Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 1. That's hard, by the way, just to know. Resident Evil 4, we'll talk about that one in a minute. Yeah, one of the best games of all time. Resident Evil 5, some some of our funnest memories. <laughs> yeah. Resident Evil 6, still sealed. <laughs> and Resident Evil 7. Yeah. Okay. Still in my top 10 games of all time. The best survival yeah. horror game, the best Resident Evil game. Uh, this game, after my favourite game of all time, is a game that I've completed more than any of them. Do you know what they get so right and this is the reason why it's so good? Is the difficulty is at a certain point, where it's where, where you do feel like you're an absolute G when you do it, but it's not so hard that you that you just give up. They literally get it. It's such a hard sweet spot to find. They do find it in in this it, game. It's like Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. When yeah, exactly. Or, or Dark Souls. When I watch Simon play it, and when I was really struggling, I was like, I want to be like him. I want to be a pro like that. Yeah. And I did the same in this game. And then Simon watched me and was like, I want to be able to do what you can do in Resident Evil. Yeah, exactly. And I yeah. go on professional. And yeah. yeah, I think you saw some dog. And it's the fact that the level design of the, oh, of the areas, it's all done so, yeah. so well. And uh, the PS4 version is a very good yeah. remake. Um, it's clean, it's crisp. Yeah, it's very good. I know we don't say this too often. It's a 10 out of 10. Like for, for me, it's yeah. a survival horror game, for what it is, 
is a 10 out of 10. So we'll, we'll breeze through the rest. Yeah, let's yeah. say. Resident Evil 0 and 1, obviously great games, very, it's very just, challenging. It's, just a very, it's a very nice game to have as well on the, on the PS4, yeah. isn't Tank it? Tank controls, you know about it. Yeah. Everyone knows about that game. Resident Evil 7, get the premium version of it now. Yeah. Very good game though. It's actually a very, very good game. Story was excellent. Yes. Yeah, story was excellent. Um, yeah, if you want like play it in VR, like that would be a great horror game. Yeah. And then these two are very, very similar to each other. Yeah. If you're playing this co-op five, yeah, it's arguably one of the best Resident Evils. But on your own, it's yeah. not. If you're playing these two games yeah. and like how we do, and we're playing them together, working as a team, great game. Very good game. So like, fun. Not like co-op nine out of ten. Yeah. It's like Tales of. It's like Tales yeah. of when you play it two player, it is better. Instantly it just becomes better. But it becomes like better than Final Fantasy. But yeah. Final Fantasy is a solo game. That's how I would describe it. So yeah, Resident Evil guys. Right. I'm gonna get some dross out of the way. <laughs> some dregs. Even though I should one of these games I haven't played yet, so it might not be. <laughs> it's like a classic classic game in it. Like, get rid of it. GTA 5. It's a great game. I I, I get it, but yeah, you, you've all you've all played it. There's yeah. not much we can say. Yeah. There you go. The game that I got, actually, I believe I got these two games with my original PS4. Yes. Uh, a little bit Planet Three. And then um, you get it within just this one, which you've got a downloadable game. Which PS Plus the month I got it. Right, a little bit Planet Three. It's very good. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Such um, a lie. I've had it for like three years. I haven't played it. <laughs> I've been with Resident Evil 6 for like a year. It's still <laughs> sealed! <laughs> uh, a game that I got very recently, No Man's Sky. Haven't played it. Supposedly the updates make it better. I shall have to see for myself. But it, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, I do believe, if I can find it quickly. The, so, along with Ground Zero, is the first two games that I got on my PS4. So, I think that's what made me at the time think of one of the games at least be better than what it was actually yeah. it's, it's a very standard average game. it's like it's it's verging on a five out of ten it's, it's yes. a five it's a five point five out of ten yeah yeah murdered soul suspect uh detective game by uh, square square, really. square and it's, it's and it actually is oh no it isn't by square i think it's by i've never heard of but i think square uh, released it yeah, yeah. It, it is it's good for what it is it's yeah a five or six out of ten if you want something to occupy you over a weekend you can get it dirt cheap. Oh, I think now it's like a, it is like a fiver. I, I wouldn't get it on PS4 though. Like no. it, the graphics are not like PS4 standard. But yeah, this one is. Yeah. Um, an absolutely classic, classic game. Now this game, you really enjoyed this I, game. I loved it. Yeah. This was this was what I was playing on when I got the PS4, because I hadn't liked the originals of it. No. I couldn't get into it. This no. was, because there was too much platforming for me. And also the controls on the PS1 were fucking horrible. To Tomb Raider. Yeah. Platforming, shooting, crafting, survival. Crafting. Vi yeah. Visuals. Now this style of game now is a bit old hat and it's a bit corny, but when Aiden obviously got that, that was like two or three years ago, it was so good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go for something. Okay, I'll go for some like remakes that I got. Batman Return to Arkham. Um, the fact that you even get these two games in one set is pretty ridiculous. Also, I, I actually I like how they come on separate discs actually as well, which is all, all yeah, three. Yeah, I like in hearts two but five one five. Because when I was really surprised, I was like, well why can't you fit it all on? Yeah exactly. Like, yeah. So it's like sixty or seventy games. Yeah it's huge. Um yeah, this game we all know both these games are like like nine and a half out of ten. And they've both been remounted on PS4. Ridiculous. So so good. Uh a really good collection, half of it I've not played the other half is a brilliant game. Kind of like your own hidden agenda. Play yeah, well, it's, it's the same company. Yeah. yeah. Um, Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Interactive kind of films. Yeah. Not much to say, but Heavy Rain, if you want that kind of style of game, I definitely It still is, because obviously a lot of games have come out since of that kind of style. Heavy Rain is still the game to get. Yes. Right? I think you should go next. Okay. DLC Galore. Oh ruined my god. One of my favourite franchises. Yeah. We've just spoken about it. Batman, Arkham Asylum, and Arkham City. Great games. Arkham Origin, me. Arkham Knight looks incredible. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, she's probably the best. It is the best looking yeah. Batman, yeah. And you know, certain parts of it great. But you get 30% of the game, and I spent £120 on the collector's edition Ooh. for it, which wasn't even that great. Like, it, it and, if you, like, and if you got all the DLC, you'd be up to like 250 yeah. Do you know, And the fact that yeah. it only came with one DLC item, which I do believe was Harley Quinn's thing, mm. I didn't even want to play on it. No. Because I was disgusted by how. I think, I think, put it this way. I think I got like in the actual game. I think I got like eighty percent trophies. I think yeah. I got something like twenty percent. Oh man, disgusting. Hurts my soul. Batman Arkham Knight. It is was it what it is. Yeah. If you can get the definitive edition, I don't think like, I don't think that, that's out yet. 
the same. Yeah. But yeah. But obviously, but what we should say is that the Batman games are probably going to finish now. I think so. I think people are kind of a bit bored of that style. They need to just do me to do a few more. Or? Um, yeah, I think go for one more. Okay. Um, Ooh. One, one of the best games on the PS4 will be a PS Plus game next month, which I would advise you all along with to get it. Along with get P- PS Plus next month. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. I like if you like Jack and Daxter. Early two thousands. Platformers, uh, and, 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 and action games, yeah, Banjo Bang- Kazooie, Jack and Dexter, Rat- Ratchet and Clank, any of those kind of games, get this game. It looks like a Pixar movie. It, it's so good. It, incredible. Buses are fun, weapons are fun. Like, yeah. I played on this non, non, I know only for like three days, but I played yeah. it non-stop. I did everything in it. I went and completed it again. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I could not, I could not, and then straight away I was like, you have this game. I know, yeah, and then I think I completed it like in a week. Yeah. 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 Right, go for another. Uh, oh no, yeah, this is the game of the edition, so this has got all the DLC on. Shadow of Mordor. Um, I think I've got about halfway through this and then kind of stopped. I can't really remember why. I've been playing this with, playing this with you there. This is really good. I mean, the, I think part of the reason why I stopped was because it is basically like playing a Batman game, yes. but in the Lord of the Rings universe. And obviously, that I should love it, and I, I did. But I think I just got a bit bored with it. I don't. I can't mm. really tell you why. It is kind of repetitive. It is kind of, yeah. But what I should say is, is that it looks great. The combat is great. The missions are great and the story is great, but it didn't really grab me as much as I, as I was hoping it, yeah. it would. Um, I'll, I'll like, scan over like a few if I can. Yeah, I think yeah, these yeah. good. Right, so, um, what do you call it? Like, old style graphics, but yeah. two like, brilliant games. And then Shovel Knight, my room one. It's Shovel Knight. People consider this to be the one of or the best indie games ever made. Do you like Mega Man? Yeah. Do you like Mario? Do you like those Sonic? 8-bit. Do you want to cry game. how many times you're going to die? Mm. Shovel Knight. Play Shovel Knight! <laughs> <laughs> um, and sorry, I preferred this to Shovel Knight. Yeah. Um, Stardew Valley, do you like Harvest Moon? Yeah. Do you, yeah. Like, do you like Harvest Moon? Do you like Harvest Moon? Like, Stardew Valley, like, this was such a prize. Yeah. I think this is one of the games that the only reason I stopped playing it is because I got to the point where I knew I was getting seriously addicted. Yeah. In the space of like a couple of days, once I got over, okay, like I've cleaned up my area, I've got yeah. a bit of money behind me, I kind of understand how Basically, when, when the game starts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's such sure. a great game. All right, I shall go for, I think this one next. It's another game that I got recently, um, and that is Prey. Um, physics engine to do with, that's like a physics engine game where we kind of move things around, you like manipulate the world around you and there's aliens who can turn into anything around you and you have to kind of find them and kill them. Um, it's just really good. Graphically it's very, it's very, very good. Yeah. Um, it kind of, yeah, so it's just, it's just good. That's about it really. Um, Last Guardian, you know all the story about it. It yeah. took so long to come out and yeah. that did like, and when it came out. Spoiled it slightly possibly. Yeah. Um, Storyline incredible, controls clunky. Last Guardian, as a memory of gaming, it's worth it. Yeah, literally just to own it is probably the best thing it's about nice. it. Yeah. 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 All right, I think I shall go with this one next. Grand Ages Medieval. We played on this once, but when we played on it, we played it for like six hours, and it felt for like half an hour. Half an hour. If you enjoy games like Civilization yes. or Command and Conqueror or, or Age of Empires, this is a great game to own. Um, it's just it's just one of those games where you feel like it's so easy to expand and kind of grow, and it is just really really good. Um, just having a look, try and find. I think with this one. Well, yeah. Um, so this is this is a very interesting game. I yeah. think. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank is an amazing game. Banjo yeah. Kazooie is an amazing game. This was from the makers of oh, a lot of people from that team who made Banjo Kazooie. From Rare, from Rare, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. Were um, they? I think. I think yeah, they yeah, were right. so, yeah. Um, and it's done by a Kickstarter. Ukulele. It's not it's great. So is it? weird. Like it looks like it's going to be great. The worlds just kind of feel empty and kind of random. And no, I feel like this game needed polish. Yes. I feel like this game didn't have any polish. Yeah. Like I'm glad that. I mean, it, did, it didn't go for full retail price. I think I yeah. got it for like 20 quid. I got it on the same day as Stardew Valley. Yeah. So I think actually, was it worth 20 quid? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's worth 20 quid. Yeah. But it's, is it, is it best a seven? 
Yeah. It's the best. I it, like that. I like that. On its best day. If you've like not got many games and you can like platform games like Ratchet and Clank, like yeah. Zoe, it's worth getting. Yes. Right. I think I shall go for. I think we have this one next. By the same company who did Heavy Rain. Until Dawn. Yeah, it's just, this it's just, game is excellent. Yeah, this game is so actually very great. good. What you choose to do really has an impact. Yeah, I think is it underrated. I'd say it probably actually is actually um, because it is so immersive. I think when I played this game, it was like one weekend yeah. and I blitzed through it. Um, gripping. The acting is actually decent. It's actually not bad. Like the other actors in it are doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, graphically, it's incredible. It, I say it just is a fantastic game. Okay, um, I'm going to two of my favourite games on the 360. One of them was so just... Both of them are, are, oh, are, are, both them are incredible. Both of them are yeah. incredible. One of them didn't get the recognition it deserved and got slated on because of the other co the other game that was in the company. And that's by Rockstar, and that is L.A. Noir. Yeah. I love the style of it. I love yeah. the interrogating people. There's no other game that you do that with. No, and, and it's shown depth with it. Yeah. It does honestly feel like that any mistake you make will have a bigger a bigger. And you impact. have to be like clever. If you actually wanted to, you have to be like, okay, yeah, I know the lion. Yeah. But, do but I, I can't have, force them. Yeah. yeah. And do I have the evidence to back that up? So yeah. and also knowing what evidence to use. Yeah. And the fact that I say got three sixty, I've got it again happily. Yeah. Quite, it's quite expensive. It was still, yeah. yeah. But I didn't mind. And they, yeah. they've even done like a, another collector's guide for it. So very very. But this game. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I think both your um, GTA is good. And Vice City is still my favourite of the GTA series. But after Vice City, fucking Sleeping Dogs, Sleeping what Dogs, a game Sleeping Dogs is. You, if you like GTA, yeah, play it. If you like the like Oriental culture, also if you like it. Batman, the, the actual yes. combat of uh, Batman. Oh, platinum this shit. That game is literally that game is so good. You don't know the you don't know the best thing about it is they actually held back on the size of the map. Now everyone there might be thinking, well that's a bad thing, I want, I want more no, space and more no. things to go on. This is such a detailed, kind of small, smaller map that it doesn't need to be big. No. It's the perfect size. Way shen for the fucking win. Way shen for the win. All right, I think I might do two of my next. All right, this, is, this was really an, an impulse buy. God Eater 2, which also includes God Eater 1 Resurrection, which was on the PSP. I've so far, Probably about halfway through God Eater Resurrection, because I could have gone straight to two. Yeah, yeah. But I thought I'd best really find out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> what is this game? Um, how best to describe it? Monster Hunter, but you just get set missions. Okay. Um, very addictive. Mm. Very very cool. I need. I think that I need to play two to really feel like I got the best from Out this. But as, as an impulse buy, very happy. I think like 20 quid for two games. I mean, you can't really complain for that. Right, I think I'll do, okay. I'll do, I'll do one more. Yeah. Um, I think I shall go with this next. This was on 360. Oh. Arguably one of my favourite games. DMC. Now, people can criticise this as much as they want. But I think, he, I, think I did hear, I think Maximilian, which is a YouTuber, um, and DMC is one of his favourite series. He actually did recently come out and say that the more he plays this, the more he actually realises that it actually is a great game. They just shouldn't. They just maybe shouldn't have changed the main character the way they should have done, or yes. not had a Devil May Cry game. Just make it a new IP with with these levels and with these mechanics and stuff. It is so much fun. I replayed this like three times on the 360. I then bought it on the PS4. Played it through twice. Yes. This game. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the level design. Uh, the weapons in this are so good. The story is really good. I mean, I don't mind uh, Dante the uh, the way he is. No, me, no. To me, I think he's fine. I mean, he's a bit of a douchebag, <laughs> but then actually he is, to be fair, in all the other Dante yeah, yeah. Um I absolutely love this game. Oh, and also I do have Dante Cry 4 Special Edition as well, uh, as a download as well, which is incredible. Right. This game I got because normally when I hear reviews about stuff, most people are angry with, like, Journey. Now, actually, I should say, because I think it was on PS Plus a few months ago, and Aiden wasn't able to go through the whole journey. He didn't actually like it. Now, one thing I would say is, is for me, the best part of it is the end. Yes. So obviously that means if you, if, because I mean, not everyone can like every game. That means if you're not enjoying the middle, you're not going to actually experience the best part. Let me just tell you, the last level of Journey is one of the best. There's one of the best last levels of anything ever. And I remember you saying it's so good. I, I, and I want to go through it for that. Yeah. I think it's for me because like. You know, if you're going on a journey, mm. it's the journey that's going to be good. Yeah. Not the end. 
Yeah, no, I completely, yeah. I completely agree with that. I, I, and I was like, I just couldn't, I couldn't get, I mean, we did yeah. try. Oh no, we, we, yeah, we definitely tried. But it also comes with flow. Flow, which actually, by the way, is sick. Flow <laughs> is so good. And then flower. Flower is Flower it? power. Just like Abzu, it is so relaxing. Yes. But like, Abzu, I prefer so, so much more than Jay. Yeah. Um, but as a, as an actual classic. That is such a good game. I've never get those three in the pack. I've never seen this in a shop. No, no, it's only available online. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you know what it is. What it is. Um, do you have... Yeah, I have three. I went three, three more. Three. Right, I shall go with... A game oh, there's a three fucking good games. A game at the minute, which is only £10, which I know it has been out a while, so it's, you know, it's understandable. This is one of my favourite shooting games of all time. I've never played a shooting game which has given me so much fun. If I play a shooting game, it's either A, pissing me off, <laughs> or the line pissing you off, or it's just boring. This is neither. This is fast paced, it's exciting, it's got an arcade feel, the story is incredible, the graphics is incredible. Um, collectibles. Collectibles. The weapons are sick. This game was incredible. And also one of the few times that I've actually been on the on, on the online mode and not felt pissed off. Because you are straight back in, it has an arcade feel. It's, to me it felt balanced. Yeah. Compared to, to some fighting games. Like, you know like a COD where you can like call like, you know, you've got like a seven win streak, just call off, you know, an airstrike and everyone's dead. Or like a piss easy, like seven, like yeah, seven yeah. win streaks. Or like seven kill streaks. This game is incredible. If you haven't played it and you have ten pounds, I would yeah. honestly say go, go and buy this. That, ten pounds is ridiculous. But what's also ridiculous is on this Switch it's 45 quid. Oh what yeah, are you doing? just buy the PS4, PS4 version. version. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do with both these games. Yes. Both these games I have not played yet. At all. One of them though is a remake of a classic game. I think we probably leave that one till last. I think we should do... I, I think, think we should do... I think we should, just like my God Eater, this was a, um, a snap decision. Yes. Yeah. It keeps be basically a rhythm game that's set in Akihabara in Tokyo. It kind of drew me to it. The fact that I can't remember what I paid, but I know I did it in the Pickles video if you want to watch that. Yes. Saying how much I got it for. I think it was like, I think it was eight quid. Eight, wow, that's yeah. very good. Um, you know, fully boxed, brand new. Day. Also, the minute Aiden is on like a rhythms game kind of run. Um, yeah. Persona 4, Dancing All Night. Night. Uh, Fear Rhythm, Fire Fear Rhythm. Rhythm. Yeah. I, I love my rhythm games. Yeah. And then I was like, but I've got them all on handheld. So I'll get eight, eight quid, you definitely can't argue with that. And PS4, so yeah. Now the game I'm going to leave till last, I probably would have left another one till last. Even though the game I will leave last is an incredible game. But that's not the point. The game I'm going to show you now is Horizon Zero Dawn. This game obviously was hyped up to the max. Yes. There have not been many games over the past couple of years which have been hyped up to this degree. And which have been good. Like, yes. So Destiny hyped up more than that. No. Watch Dogs hyped up. Oh, I wasn't meant No. No Man's Sky. Yeah. But that's what made this game so fucking good. This game is is excellent. Yeah. Very, graphics, like A plus. The graphics in this are incredible. What what made me happy is is that um, Kojima's new game will be based on the same engine as this, which made me very happy. Because when I was, when I was playing this, mm -hmm. it is so good. Um, the leveling up system, the amount of enemies, the way you, like, the way you defeat the enemies reminded me so much of Phantom Pain. Yeah, like you, it's not. It's not just I'll run over here and I'll scouting, and I'll, assessing, and I'll beat things up. Which isn't, you know, I don't mind games like that. But I do like a game where you have to kind of. Uh, there is a creature, so I can't remember, but it's one of. The, I think it's called a Stormbird. I think. I think it's the hardest flying creature. To kill one of them, at like the first time that you see one, is a genuine slog. Like it is designed to make you think. Okay, I should use this weapon now, and then I should use this mm -hmm. weapon after that. And you know, if I remove this part of its armor. I'll do, double, I'll do double, uh, double damage, and if I break its wing, it can't fly. And there are genuinely so many different ways to defeat an enemy. Um, the story is excellent. I'd say, such a good game. I haven't got the DLC for this yet, but I feel like I probably will do. Yes. Yeah. Well, there is the definitive edition of it. There is. Yeah, there is. Yes. Yeah. Which I was tempted to buy. Yeah. So, are we doing yours next? Yes, or? I think we do this next. I think this is, I think that's like a classic game that we should get to. <laughs> right. So, this is my last game, and it is Nia. Or Tomato, which is the game that Aiden bought me. Yes. Um, we, we bought a series of some fucking good games. This, though, by God, is this a good game. I want the soundtrack to this fucking game. Oh my God. I, watched, I want that soundtrack. I watched a YouTube video of a, um, an orchestra doing the soundtrack to this. Yes. Now, when I was playing the game, the soundtrack was like A+. I loved it. And the game fitted it and it fitted it so well. But I didn't realise until I listened to this YouTube video how... 
good the actual music was. Um, story incredible, the fact that really the game never kind of ends. No. You get like multiple run throughs and different endings and you have to find them all. Obviously similar to, you could kind of say similar to like Devil May Cry or um, like Dynasty, a Dynasty Warrior game with kind of like hack and slash and running around and, and killing enemies. Um, the characters are incredible, the graphics are incredible. This is like a nine and a half out of ten. Yeah. It's verging so close on a ten out of ten. It's incredible. Honestly, if you haven't got this game, I mean, it's still expensive. I mean, that's when you know a game is 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 kind of like yes. enjoyed when it's still expensive. So, what a game! And then we're going to end on a remake of a classic cult game. Yeah. And, and this is one of those games that is on a lot of. This is that. This is some people's best game of all time. Yes. Or it's in a lot of people's top fives or top tens. And it was recently re-released for PS4. Um, and you'll, know, you'll, you'll probably guess what it is because literally there were trailers for this everywhere. I thought we know you can see it. Yeah, probably. Sony Sony pushed this one hard. Yes, they, they definitely did. And that is Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, it's still sealed, so yeah. And we've not played it. We've watched tons of videos about it, so we know a lot about it. But I haven't played it personally. Um, but I really want to start playing this game. Yeah. And oh yeah. I mean, I think just yeah. As I said ending on that. I think we've got a lot of fucking good games. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of games. I mean, obviously, you know, the Xbox One has a lot of great games. Obviously, PC does. But I think what we've shown here is that the PS4 is definitely... I think I think it can be considered as one of the generations. Like, this generation now can, now can, can be considered as one of the... You know, it's, it's living up to the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. I think what's odd about the PS4 is it's one of the only consoles that I can't, like... This game is my favorite. Whereas, oh, like, it's it's so hard. hard. Like, um, you know, Sega Saturn. I'm like, okay, Dragon Force. I'm yeah. like, uh, I'm Dreamcast. I'm like, Shenmue. And then like, uh, Entity Four. I'm like, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. But with the PS4, I literally can't do it. Yeah. I mean, for me, is it Dark Souls Three? Is it Neo? Is it Metal Gear Solid Five? Is it Neo? Is it Metal Gear Solid Five? Is it Fallout Four? Is it The Witcher Three? Yeah. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching our video. We'll do a little uh, outro <laughs> now. So as you can see, so many games. And then, like, that's not even all of them. We couldn't fit them all on. <laughs> Some random ones on the floor. Um, yeah, so guys, we hope you enjoyed watching. Here are all the PS4 games. We've not counted them all. I know that I had 59. I think I had something like 38 or 40 or yeah. something. And that's not including downloadable games. So, yeah. you know, I think guys were reaching on the 100 mark. Um, let us know out of there which games are your favourite. And if there's any that you think we should definitely pick up or any that we've missed out. And we shall see you guys soon.